Leon in studio here with Christina and Erica from Shenanigans. I mean, his shenanigans are cruel and tragic. Which makes them not shenanigans at all, really. Shenanigans. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans. <laughs> hey, Farva, what's the name of that restaurant you like with all the goofy shit on the walls and the mozzarella sticks? You mean shenanigans? No. Oh. <laughs> shenanigans. <laughs> Do you, in fact, have goofy stuff on the walls, and do you serve mozzarella sticks? We, yes, yeah. I had the mozzarella sticks last night. They got a bite to them. <laughs> yeah. They're a little, yes. they're a little spicy there. I wasn't the expecting that. Spicy. Yeah. Who makes the marinara? Our, our cook. No. <laughs> <laughs> she just got a question right for are you smart? Enough? <laughs> Keep that one in reserve. What's funny is before she fell and hit her head here at the studio, she never would have gotten right. that. She oh, made the marinara <laughs> before that. She just doesn't know. So you guys had a big night last night. Bob was there for the Guinness night, right? Yes, yes. Guinness promo. We had a Guinness Black Lager out there last night. We are giving away uh, $500 gift cards to elevate your tailgate. So there were some people who really, really <laughs> wanted to win last night. Are they Were they regulars? They were. Yes. Well, I missed something here. <laughs> oh, no, they were just, it's 500 bucks. So I heard a girl, is this the girl you're talking about that was throwing herself at you? Not throwing herself at us. She just wanted to win very badly. Oh, oh okay. Like she came up, you know people, you've done these remotes. Yes. You register for uh, people to win for two hours. Do you get the people at the end, like when there's an hour and 50 minutes gone and there's 10 minutes to sign up, and they all get up from the table and saunter over like, I'm going to put my registration in last and I'm going to win. Yes, exactly. It never, ever works. You last haven't night, seen a girl as hot as me come it over here. <laughs> right, right. So last night... 15 minutes left to register people. She walks over. She puts the thing in. We pull her name. First of all, we pulled somebody else's name. They had left Wasn't already. two people that left? Yeah, we pulled two people. Two people that left. They had left already. So we pulled this name. Someone yells out, She just put that in! <laughs> like somehow we fixed it. Meanwhile, we had the Guinness girl shaking it up for like three minutes. They reach in and pull it out, and this girl, I guess she's a regular there, she won. So mm -hmm. she gets 500 bucks towards a, uh, a big-ass tailgate with uh, Guinness Black Lager. Well, that's why we do competitions of skill and intelligence to give away our prizes here on 105.9 <laughs> X and the X Morning Show. Which are you we'll smarter see in a minute. Is coming up next. Christina and Erica are going to play against Sean. He has called in. He will be the competitor. Stay li listening with us, though, because if the ladies beat Sean then whoever else is out there in the listening audience that calls in next automatically gets the, the Steeler tickets to the game against the Jets on Sunday at 425. It's kind of a big deal. Yes. What do you guys do at Shenanigans for Steeler games? What's special there? We have Coors Light drafts for $2, and they are 20 ounce. And we have 40 cent wings, too. What about Friday happy hour, like today? Anything? Today, from 5 to 7, it will be half off appetizers and drafts, $2 domestic bottles, and dollar off all liquors. And you can smoke there, and huh? Then it is a smoking bar, It yes. is a smoking bar, which everybody wanted me to know last night. It is a, there's not too many left in the city, but you right. can smoke there. Yes. That's yes. great, Bob. I don't smoke, but I'm going to start now. Because <laughs> I've heard some good things. <laughs> well, you may have to smoke something during the Steeler season this year. <laughs> we'll see. And Shenanigans is located where? In the North Hills on Babcock Boulevard. Where on Babcock Boulevard? 2310. 2310. Right across from the detailing right, shop, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm on a cellos. Oh, okay, yeah. No. Sure, plug another place. That's <laughs> that in there. Monticello's great marinara. They're spicy. They're cook <laughs> We'll play Are You Smarter Than next, and if Sean doesn't like his chances by now, I don't know how much more we can help. It's 105.9 The X. your first time. You nervous? I am. You look a little nervous. Erica, you look a little bit more confident. <laughs> you know what's funny is we I thought she did it because she was such a big part of the contest, but we brought the winner in. Oh, that's to right. To do it. Yeah. Remember Amber. that weekend right after that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the opponent in this game is Sean, and he sounds petrified. So I think you guys are in good shape. Sean, you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay, you you feeling confident? Because you sound a little shaky on the phone. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. You're Don't good. worry. Okay. There's uh, only Steeler tickets on the line here, okay? <laughs> Nothing big. All right, Sean, you get question number one. We'll start with you. The Pitt Panthers play the Virginia Tech Hokies tomorrow. The Hokie is what kind of creature? <laughs> what kind of creature is a hokey, the mascot for Virginia Tech? We lose. You don't, you, you don't lose yet. He has to get it wrong, and then you can steal. What do you think? Take a, take a guess, Sean. Say a wolf. A wolf. 
That is incorrect. A hokey is not a wolf. Ladies, would you like to try to steal? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to say a tiger. A tiger? <laughs> I thought she'd say an otter. You know that part of India, right below, like yeah. the Bengal tiger, the Hokey tiger. The Hokey yeah. tiger. Yes. No, it's a turkey. Oh. Mm. No, it's Ferocious not. turkey, but it's a turkey. <laughs> yes, it is a turkey. It is in fact a turkey. A Hokey okay. is a turkey. Okay. So, uh, well, at least that's the mascot anyway. Right. All right. So nobody gets a point there. You girls can try to get a point right now. Okay. All right. This is your first question. Let's grab if the you, tiger by the horns here. <laughs> if you get this question wrong and Sean steals, then he gets a point. This is vocabulary. This is a tradition. We always have the girls who come in to play Are You Smarter Than? Use a complicated vocabulary word in a sentence, all right? Your vocabulary word is ethereal. Use the word ethereal in a sentence. <clears throat> I am very ethereal today. Okay, well, just an A? <laughs> she was probably a little bit more ethereal when she tried to speak after she fell down and hit her head. I'm sorry, I can't accept that. That's far too vague. So, can you steal, Sean? You want to try to steal that? Yeah, what was the word? Ethereal. A ethereal. Eat. Um, I honestly have no idea. You could have at least said, I honestly have no idea what ethereal means. You should get a have... point because we tried at least. No, this isn't point? the Pittsburgh Public Schools. You don't get 50% just for being here. <laughs> so we're scoreless after one round yeah, here. Yeah, right. Let's get another shot, Tim. What do you got? Ladies, you go first this time in round two. Okay. In Europe and the new American colonies during the 18th century, this is world history, a cultural movement of intellectuals tried to reform society using reason... <laughs> Knowledge and science rather than tradition, faith, and revelation. This was called the Age of. You the know age it. Age of. Come on, Dana. Come on. You know it. You both know it. You went to college. Uh, <laughs> the, wait, hold on. Say that again. The Age of what? Relevant? The age of relevance. That sounds very it sounds dignified. Smart, so that's why I it said it. sounds smart. It's incredibly wrong, okay. but it sounds really good. The age of relevance is not right, but you can steal here if you want, Sean. The age of what? Um, it's the age of science. The age of science. Mm -hmm. Kind of is, simplifying it there, aren't we? That is incorrect. The answer is the age of enlightenment. I swear, I was so excited say, yeah. because I thought you were going to say, one of you was going to say the age of Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sean, this is how it works. If you get this question right, you win. If you get it wrong and they steal, they win. If you both get it wrong, we go to a tiebreaker question. It's okay. math, all right? Uh-oh. This is my... Oh, you like math? Oh, okay. <laughs> the Steelers play the Jets here in Pittsburgh, Sunday at 425. If the game lasts exactly three hours, what time will it end if you're watching it in Los Angeles? 425. 425 is correct, yeah. Sean. Congratulations. <laughs> You are smarter than the girls from Shenanigans. <laughs> did you know that one? We did. Yeah. She you did. She I whispered did, it pretty I? loud <laughs> also. I was trying to tell you don't whisper it because right I after you it. said uh, it, Sean jumped on it. Did you hear them, no. Sean? No, I didn't hear them. Oh, okay. no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, no, not at all. No, like, I learned that in the age of enlightenment. Wrong. Come on. <laughs> They're like the third base coach from the Pirates whispering in Alex Christie's ear. <laughs> hey, it's going to be a suicide squeeze. <laughs> Hey, go! <laughs> Girls, do you want the tiebreaker question? Just yes. make it. Uh, you're mad. Yeah. I can I tell am, you're I'm mad. I'm good at math. I got the math right last right, year. How are you at chemistry? Oh, I failed chemistry. Oh, you failed chemistry? You, actually, you failed it. F. Oh, I, I already told you I got a C. Okay, F to a C. So you learned something. Yeah. Uh, this is a multiple choice question, all right? Oh, good. Okay. okay. Which of the following is not a noble gas? Hydrogen, helium, neon, or krypton? Krypton. You just failed chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. No, Superman was noble and Krypton was Superman. <laughs> Krypton's made up. <laughs> All right, Sean, you're the winner. Way to go. All right, thanks what? All right, hold on one second. We'll get your information. That's how you play Are You Smarter Than here on 105.9 The X. Sorry, ladies. Next time. Next time.
Okay. You know what, though? Sean has to come drinking out shenanigans. And yeah, for Steelers, guys, Jets tickets, he needs yes. to tip the hell out of you guys. Yeah. You're working tonight? Yes. Me and Erica work tonight. The shenanigans is located one more time? And the North Hills on Babcock Boulevard. It's 105.9 The X.